So you've got yourself a pulse roll mini massage gun. This is an amazing piece of kit that will help you with your fitness and body maintenance for many years to come. This set of videos will walk you through everything you need to know to make sure you're using it correctly and getting the most out of it. First up, let's see what's included in the box. We have one pulse roll mini massage gun, four applicator heads, one type C charging cable, one pulse roll carry case, and a user manual and warranty card. Before you switch it on, you need to select the right applicator head for the muscle you're going to treat. Take a minute to think about this. The right head will help you get the most out of your treatment. It comes with a pneumatic head. This head has a soft, squishy feel, so it's great for warming up any area, and it's particularly good for managing painful or sensitive muscles. If this is your first time using the mini massage gun, we'd recommend starting with the pneumatic head. A small ball. This is designed for a general full body muscle massage, but it's also great for focused muscle groups like the shoulders, triceps, biceps, and calves, where firmness is still required. A bullet head, this is designed for muscle release. It's great for targeting specific smaller muscular knots and focused trigger points. A spinal fork, this head is intended for the trapezius muscle, but it's also effective for feet as well as larger muscle groups like the calves and quadriceps. One little warning here though, do not use it directly over the spine or on bones close to the skin. Right, so before you attach your chosen head, make sure the device is turned off. You can double check this by looking at the base of the gun to confirm that none of the indicator lights are lit up. Now, simply push the head into the barrel with a slight twist until it fits firmly into position. To remove the head, check that the mini massage gun is switched off, then simply twist and pull. To turn the mini massage gun on, press the power icon on the base of the device for two seconds. This will activate the first percussion speed. Once it's turned on, the battery life indicator lights up. The mini massage gun has four different power settings, and you can see them indicated by the lights on the base. Each time you press the power icon, it cycles up through one of the speed settings. They are level one, that's 1,800 RPM, and we call that low power mode. Low power mode is designed to help enhance blood flow into the muscle by gently relaxing the targeted muscle area. The pneumatic applicator head is a good option for this because it's more comfortable. Level two, that's 2,200 RPM, and we call that medium power mode. This is a little higher. The more you use the mini massage gun, the more you'll be able to intuitively tell which speed setting is right for a particular muscle. Level three, that's 2,700 RPM, and we call this high power mode. And finally, level four, that's 3,000 RPM, we call this ultra high power mode. Levels three and four are used to apply pressure as needed, but they're mostly for significant muscular mass areas where the applicator head can penetrate deeper into the muscle, such as the glutes and quads. Simply plug the mini massage gun in and leave it charging for around three hours. Once fully charged, the battery will deliver up to six hours of use on low vibration speeds or two and a half hours on high speeds. Once you've finished your session, hold the power button to turn it off. It also features a timer that turns off after 10 minutes to keep you from overusing the product on a particular spot. Because it's so effective at relaxing muscles and increasing blood flow, four minutes per targeted muscle area should be more than enough time for a single use. If you want to warm up and activate your muscles, decide which muscle to focus on, choose the correct attachment and start on the lowest speed. Unless you're working on a bigger, more developed muscle, we recommend starting with the pneumatic head attachment. Think about blood flow and start at whichever end of the muscle is furthest from your heart. Using a percussive motion to create friction in the muscle will help to relax it and will increase blood flow to the area, making the muscle more pliable. We recommend using it for at least 30 seconds on any muscle. Let's try quads. So in this case, start from the knee and move the mini massage gun in long sweeping movements up towards the hips. 
Next, use the massager on the insertion of the muscle, moving the head from left to right across the muscle fibers for a further 10 seconds. At this point, you can adjust the intensity depending on how much work the muscle needs. Finally, move the massager up and down the whole length of the muscle fibers for an additional 10 seconds. Avoid using applicator heads that are designed to get into deep muscle on body locations that have little muscle tissue and definitely avoid placing the device directly over bones. If you want deeper muscle penetration, use the power levels on the device and avoid pressing harder. Let the device do all the work. If you're using it for recovery, combine all of the above movements, left to right, up and down, for roughly one to two minutes to recover or relax your muscles. It'll enhance the blood flow and circulation and assist in the removal of lactic acid. If you locate any particularly sensitive areas, use the massager in small circular movements over the affected area. By gradually cycling up through the speeds while you focus on one spot, you can reach deeper into the muscle fibers without causing too much discomfort. The mini massage gun can be used on almost any part of the body, and with the variety of heads included, it is suitable for light or intense treatment all over. If you'd like to find out more, feel free to visit our website or check the user manual for more details, including a user guide, safety instructions, warnings and cautions, and information on maintenance and cleaning.